Back in 2013, I've made a decision to become serious about lifting. I began chasing gains, and ever since, each and every year, I've been learning new things while improving my physique and making progress. In today's video, I wanna show you the best approach to maximize your muscle growth based on a decade of my experience. The first question that you have to ask yourself is what is the most important thing when it comes to training and making gains? That is progressive overload. Your ability to make progress over time determines whether you are going to make gains or not. There are three main areas where you can make progress when it comes to building muscle. Number one, it's becoming stronger with the exercises. This involves you moving more weight over time. Number two, it's increasing your muscular endurance, aka your ability to do more reps. And number three, it's you becoming better at performing the exercises, you improving your form. So how should you structure your training routine to ensure that you are taking care of all three different aspects of progressive overload and getting the best results? Your workout should be split into three different sections, each one helping you with either building strength or increasing your muscular endurance. You would start your workout with a warm-up phase to help you prepare your body for the weight training. Then you would move on to the strength portion of your workout because strength gains equal muscle gains. Now the last section of your workout would be the hypertrophy portion of your workout where your main goal is increasing muscular endurance. The quicker you can make progress in these areas, the quicker you can build muscle and the quicker you can change the way you look. Now let's have a look at each individual section so you know exactly how to train to get the best results. So you're going to begin your strength training session by picking at least one strength training exercise where your focus would be on moving as much weight as you possibly can. So let's say as an example, during a push day, that could be a bench press and during a leg day or a pull day, that could be a deadlift. I would then pick a solid rep range for that exercise, usually anywhere between one to six reps. The more experienced you are, the lower you can keep the reps. Then you aim for that amount of reps on every single set. So if you choose to do four sets, that would mean you're going to do four sets of four reps. Now the aim is to increase your load with each set until you reach your top set. So you could treat your first few sets as warm-up sets where you slowly increase the efforts. As an example, you would start your first set with four reps at an RP of seven meaning that you should still have about three reps left in you after you've completed your set. Then you would move on to your set number two with an RPE of eight, followed by a set number three with an RPE of nine. This would finally bring you to your top set, where you aim to lift as much weight as you possibly can for four reps at an RPE of 10, meaning that you shouldn't have any reps left in you after completing the set. If you can do more than four reps on that set, then you know that you could have used more weight. Now remember, your main aim is to get stronger. And how do you get stronger? You progressively move more weight over time and that's how you become stronger. So this is how I would structure my training over a period of four weeks. Week one would be your block one. And during this week, during your strength training exercise, you would focus on performing four repetitions using the techniques that I just mentioned before. Now during your week two, you would drop that rep by one. And right now you focus on reaching three repetitions rather than four. Now week three, you would drop that by one more rep again. And right now you're aiming for two reps. And then your last week, which is your week four, you aim for one rep maxes and you try to lift as much load as you can. That's what you would do during each and every week. Now, once you reach your week four, you would then restart the cycle and you would go back to week one where you focus on doing four reps again. And then once you've gone back to doing four reps again, at this moment in time, you should be stronger in the exercise and you should be able to move much more weight than you have done before for the same amount of repetitions that you've done previously. And in this way, you are progressing in strength and therefore building muscle. Now you want to repeat this approach over the different body parts. If you're following a push-pull legs program, then you would follow the same approach on your push days, pull days and leg days. And the only difference would be you switching the exercises. Now we're going to go over the best split in a second. But first, let's go over the third part of your workout, the third section of your workout, which would be the hypertrophy training. During this phase, the main focus is to do things that will help you increase the overall volume of your body, change the shape, change the way you look. So what is it that you're going to do during this third and last phase of your workout. Number one, when you focus on hypertrophy, you're gonna choose three to four exercises. These exercises could be either compound movements or isolation movements. Compound movements being things like bent over row or the dumbbell bench presses and isolation movements being things like dumbbell lateral raises or any machine work. Second, you're gonna keep your rep ranges higher. So you're gonna keep your reps anywhere between eight to 12 repetitions. Third thing, you're gonna keep your rest between sets shorter. So you're gonna rest anywhere between 60 to 90 seconds per set. 
Now fourth, your main focus should be the feeling in your muscle. You should feel the bump, bump the muscle like Arnold said. You wanna make sure that you are feeling the burn, feeling the muscles that you are trying to work. Now the more advanced you are, the better mind-muscle connection you're gonna have, the more of a beginner you are, the harder it might be for you to actually feel the muscles that you're trying to work. So it's always good to learn and find out how to best perform the exercises to get the most out of it. Over the next few weeks, I'll be uploading more videos showing you how to maximize your muscle gains and we're gonna break down each and every body part individually, showing you what to do while you're training that body part. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button so you are updated whenever I post the next video. Now one tip that I can give you straight away is that you want to lower your tempo. So you want to slow down the exercises. If you slow down, you're gonna be able to focus a little bit more on what's happening inside of your body and then when you do that, you can focus on squeezing them and feeling them slightly better. Now when it comes to choosing your exercises, you don't just wanna aimlessly pick any exercise. Look at your body, take a video, take a few photos, have a look where you are lacking. Maybe you're slouching forward. Maybe your posture isn't ideal. If I have lacking body parts and things to fix, I would design my routine to include exercises to help me fix that. As an example, if my upper chest was lacking, then I would include exercises that help me target my upper chest and so on with all of the other body parts. So as an example, my push day would look something like this. The warm up, the bench press for the strength movement, the incline bench press as the first hypertrophy movement, followed by the dumbbell lateral raise and the dumbbell skull crushes. I would repeat this process of looking at my body and choosing the best exercises to suit my needs for the remaining body parts. Now the question is, what would be the best training split to maximize your muscle growth? Would it be the push-pull? Would it be the individual body part split? Science seems to show that if you train each body part twice a week, you're creating an ideal scenario for muscle building. So whenever you decide to choose your training split, that's something that you wanna keep in mind. So guys, this is how I would structure my training if my overall goal was improving my shape. Now to help you out even more, I've prepared a free training program that you can download in the description below. And this training program is in line with whatever it is that I've been teaching you over here. Now apart from this, over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be breaking down your entire body, showing you how to train each and every body part. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you do not miss the next video. Use the strategies and techniques that I have taught you here and you're gonna start seeing results very, very quickly. Outside of that, I'm gonna see you in the next one.